Uh, I feel I've been lied to, uh, and uh, I don't know what's going to happen in court, but I'm prepared to go to jail uh, for what I believe, and I believe my horses are in great shape. They showed me pictures uh, where they had a little scrape from uh, where they uh, pulled back at one some time on the halter and uh, like a rope burn on the neck there. And, of course, you just put a little nitroferrazine on there and readjust the halter, and you're all set there, no problem. It's superficial. And then the other horse, they said they found a place on the side where they, it's got a little sore, and I can see where that was probably made by the buckle on the rear cinch. So I just adjust the uh, buckle on the rear cinch there, and, uh, of course, it'll heal up. Uh, I'm riding because I've become the man little boy I was, always wanted me to be riding across the country. I remember as a little boy, my daddy would say, eat your peas, eat your broccoli, there's children starving the world. Well, I didn't know how that helped, but I did what Daddy told me to do, and then I ran outside and played cowboys and Indians and rode my horses across the country, and uh, here I am some 70 years later riding across the country, and I really am uh, confused to what's happened here in New York. I've been across the United States on horseback three times, and I never had anything like this happen. And naturally, uh, well, they told me I'd be able to plead uh, and maybe get an attorney and all that. I said, well, I'm going to plead not guilty.